everyday Hindus who are not like, because there's so much legal jargon involved in talking about mm -hmm. this. How do we sort of voice our side of the thing? Like why, like when people ask, cause on surface level, the bill looks like, you know, it's anti-discrimination. So right. it's already an uphill battle for us when we say that, you know, we're against it. How do we talk about it in, in ways that are kind of simple? Yeah, I, I think that you're, you're, you're hitting a challenge that we've seen in the community. And that's why the Hindu American Foundation has started providing um, a, a program, a Dharma Ambassadors program that's focused specifically on caste. Because first, we ourselves don't know our history. Um, we have essentially internalized the pyramid stereotype. And so it's hard to look at, you know, on the one hand, you know your own experience of the diversity and the complexity of the communities that you reside in, the, one, the communities that you socialize in, the communities that your parents or grandparents came from. You know those complexities. However, when you have a framework um, that has become so entrenched and is so prolific, it's difficult to not see the reality outside of that lens. And, um, and so we, this Dharma Ambassadors program um, that we have started gives people kind of an overview of the history of caste as a category. It also talks about some of the indigenous ways in which Indian society self-organized, whether it was Jati, whether it was Kul or Sampraday or you know, a number of other indigenous groups that again, caste kind of conflates into one, but more importantly, how to talk about this very complex topic in simple ways, because you're right um, on paper or when you first hear about it, it's like, wait, well, why would you oppose protecting people against discrimination? And I think the simple thing to say is that this is not whether we need to ensure that no one is discriminated against on the basis of caste. It's how we go about doing it. We cannot discriminate against an entire community to solve a supposed problem of discrimination. You have to find ways to do it in a manner that's non-discriminatory. And I think that's the crux of the issue. Uh, thank you. I think that's a wonderful way for anyone to sort of frame the argument. So I, I really appreciate that. Uh, so uh, do you have any closing remarks you want to say? Uh, any last message for American Hindus? Uh, any way they could support your work? I, you know, I would encourage people to visit uh, www.hinduamerican.org. We do have a section on caste. Um, if you're interested, it's um, if you just search term cast, or if you do go to hinduamerican.org front slash all about cast, um, you will come upon a variety of sources um, that can be a starting point. It is not an ending point, but a starting point. And I encourage people to follow the links, read the academic articles so that you can get an idea that uh, about the complexity of the issue, but also some of the unanswered questions. Uh, because you have this prevalent um, way of talking about Indian society that has been the way people have talked about Indian society for over 200 years, at least in kind of popular media. Uh, and, um, and so it's important to read some of the academic papers. Um, we have picked ones that are as accessible as academic papers can be, uh, but that should be a starting point. And I would encourage people to um, register for our Dharma Ambassadors program so that they can learn more and get comfortable with the issues um, and not comfortable, but get, um, uh, get well-versed on the issues to understand how it can impact your day-to-day. -day. Uh, you know, bottom line is, is that if you have a category that singles out and targets South Asians over time, because South Asians will be seen as kind of this legal morass or a liability, if it comes to hiring a South Asian versus hiring someone else as an administrator, you're gonna go with something that decreases your cost, decreases your liability, 
don't hire the South Asian. So guess what? All those success stories that we know about of people who have come from socially and economically marginalized communities in India and succeeded and achieved the American dream here, they too are going to be adversely impacted by these policies. So come to HAF and, um, and learn more about these issues because they will affect you. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.